What's up guys, Technoba here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Advanced Timber. If you've played in the mod pack with the Tinkers mod or something similar, then you understand what's happening here. Break the bottom log of a tree and the entire tree will fall apart while applying the right damage to your axe. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Advanced Timber. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. After loading into the game, you won't notice anything different. I'll give myself one of each axe and I'll break the bottom block of each of these trees. As you can see, from the iron axe up, each tree completely falls apart after breaking the bottom log. Of course, you can customize what tools this works with in the plugins config that we'll get to in a moment. You'll need the timber.trigger permission, otherwise the entire tree won't break. I have op, so this isn't an issue for me. To keep the plugin balanced, breaking trees will do damage to the tool relative to how many blocks were broken. Watch the tool's durability as I break this small tree and then this larger jungle tree. By default, the entire tree breaks instantly after breaking the first block. This can be adjusted in the config as we'll see later. The plugin also has two commands. The first is slash timber, which returns the plugin's version, and the second is slash timber space toggle. This will turn the timber plugin on or off, allowing you to break one block at a time instead of the entire tree when using an axe. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Inside configuration.yml, we have very well documented settings. Some settings that have an effect on server performance would include max tree size and no drops. If you're expecting players to break massive trees often, enabling no drops will help cut back on some lag. Trigger items allows you to set what tools work with this plugin. And as you can see, any pickaxe or sword will trigger the entire tree to break. While the diamond axe and iron axe are the only axes that will work. Enabling cut leaves will cause the leaves to be broken as well. To stop log houses and structures falling apart when breaking them with a listed tool, you can enable check if tree. If there is a leaf block attached to a log, then the plugin will be triggered. When it comes to permissions and group plugins, this plugin has only one permission, timber.trigger. If a user or group has this permission, they can use the advanced timber mod. We can also limit access to certain worlds by listing them under worlds. While this plugin is very simple, it's also very useful for speeding up the slow, repetitive tasks of taking down trees. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.